Exactly. This is the big fight. This is the horse that I ride every day. Um, he's actually quite savage in the stable. But uh, the way I deal with him is uh, to give him lots of carrots. Bing! <laughs> edit that part out. <laughs> okay. So at Tom's yard we have very standard bridles. Every horse uh, wears the same bridle. They all wear a cross nose band just to help them breathe better because all of Tom's horses uh, generally <coughs> breathe very well and they're all pretty settled because they wear these nose bands every day. Then what we do at the end of every single day, uh, and especially in light of the equine influenza, is we take part of the entire bridle and we dunk all of it in Vercon. So, um, so it's all disinfected and uh, ready to go again the next day. So you don't keep the same bridle every single time and then you put the bridle back together then the following morning. So it starts off with Fresca. So that stops your tack from slipping back. And it'll be needed this morning because we're heading up to the woodchip, so it's quite a long ride to get up there. So that always helps. This is the cross nose band there. So we stick that over. As you can see, he's not really a happy bunny about it. But he is fine. Cross nose band next. Then we have, this is our martingale, so our neck strap and our reins. Then you head over next. And then finally, the cheek pieces, which I'm going to put down because every horse's head is different and differently sized. And you don't want it jabbing on their mouth too much when you put it on. So you do this. And he also doesn't really like having his bit in. So we'll try and wedge it in there. There you go. And over his head. And that is putting our bridle together just there. Then obviously, before you pull out, you'll want to adjust all of them, the leathers, you want to make it fit your horse's head just right. That's that. Next, you obviously have to get him out of his pyjamas, have to get all of his rugs off of him. So generally a horse will wear three rugs. So they'll wear a bottom sheet, then they'll have a neck rug, and then they'll have a thick over rug like this. So that's one. Then they have this layer, this is their neck one. You get nice footage now of him trying to kick me. Like I say, I absolutely adore this horse, but he is a bit savage in the stable. So you just have to be mindful, but he's, um, he's by Scorpion, so it's, it's unfortunately like a trait of theirs. But they've also got a lot of ability. Then we have second layer here of Rook. <coughs> and finally, have their sheets. Now these sheets are really good because when you wash them off they act as a coolant as well so you can uh, wash them off, put this on and they'll stay nice and warm and dry as well. Now what we do when it's first thing in the morning if it's a bit chilly we don't fully take the rug off we just peel it back so it sits on the quarters so it keeps them nice and warm. And this bit here this is a bib and it just stops them getting rubs on their shoulders when they go on the water with their rugs on. So that's all that does. So next part so we've got that part, it's by non-slip. <laughs> so here we have a non-slip now. Not all horses wear these, but the big bite, he needs one because his tack goes back horrendously. So we have this on, it just keeps all your tack in place and stops it slipping back over their bum. And he's really fascinated by this. He thinks it's a carrot. So we put that on there. Okay, so that just sits like that. Stays nice and comfy on them. Then we have towels. Now we use a different towel on every single horse to stop any spread of any sort of bacterial infection in their skin. So we have all of these towels and we change them after every single lot. They get washed after every single lot and disinfected. So that goes on next. And you just lay it like that and then you put it on your, your pad which just sits like so. And you fold this towel back over. So it just keeps everything in place, keeps it all nicely in place. I see he's loving all of this. <laughs> My perfect model for this. Next up, we have our sheet. We have three different types of sheets here at Tom's. This is a sheet that we use when it's raining. This is a brown sheet, it's a waterproof sheet, but it's also nice and light. See, it's got the buckles at the end, it's got a hessian inside, and then a waterproof outside layer. So we put that on next. 
see there's a lot of ceiling of brushes around here as well from the stable to stable. So then we put on the sheet, trying not to get kicked in the process. That goes on next. Finally, we have a lovely soft numner here. So that again just gives some extra protection on the back and a bit of um, bit of extra support away from the saddle pressing in on the back. So that goes next. And finally, the saddle itself, which is pretty necessary, as opposed to the general JP GP saddles you'll see on a normal horse. These are obviously a lot lighter, a lot more compact, and a, they just sit a lot nicer and lighter on a horse's back. And also, you're able to get out of a saddle a lot easier than a GP saddle that uh, most sort of horse riders will use. So that's next. Again, we have more towels. So this is a gas sleeve towel. So what this does, again, it just stops any sort of infection spreading throughout their skin. So uh, we always put this and we change it again from lot to lot, uh, our sleeve there. So, 